Like a bad neighbor, this movie sucks! Hello everybody, and welcome to Dimlet, where we are not the brightest bulbs in the box. And this is a podcast where we talk about Pixar movies, because why not? We are definitely not the brightest bulbs in the box for watching this. I, I should have said the probably bulbs just, in the box car. We, <laughs> we're not the brightest bulbs in the trunk? Uh, the glove box? In the headlamp. In the, in the headlamps. Not the brightest bulbs. Hi! Where's <laughs> why are their lights not their eyes? That's We're talking point. about cars no, too today. Make any sense. Like, Nothing makes like, sense how does, anymore. How does how does a man? <laughs> Life doesn't make any sense. Everything is pain. Welcome to today. At least it's in the right frame rate. <laughs> so we, we, as I just said, cars too. Um, we we all went into this uh, thinking it was probably the worst one, and uh, we were right. Yeah. This is the worst. This is this, the worst this, thing they've this, made. This is bad. This hurt. It hurts. I I try. In the last couple of years, I've tried not to be as harsh on things in terms of like, oh, this sucks. You know, I actually I try to give things benefit of the doubt sure. and be like, hey, there was there's at least effort, and some people care about this. Some and then there's and this. then there's here's the thing. <laughs> the though, there there like, are people out there. This made money. Not oh. a lot, but this no, made that was money. That, that was a lot. It made three hundred million. Yeah, three hundred and fifty-nine million. Yeah, that's, I mean, a, that's five. a lot. That's a five, right? Or are you talking without the budget? Yeah. When you yeah, yeah. you got it. Well, also, no, I said. I, I probably is that now how you're supposed to do it? I, well, there's also, also all the the, the advertising, the marketing. Yeah. yeah. yeah you also add but that. then there's also the toy sales that I, aren't I part of like the movie. But made like, with, this is what that was made for. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and there's a lot of people younger than us that love the Cars movies. Yes, they yes, never they say this one. You know, I but like they the say these movies like better. <laughs> yeah, do you? Seen them? I've never uh, seen. Them. There's only one, there's right? Two. Is Fire there... and Rescue. Fire and Rescue. Okay, that's the second one. I, have never I, I seen. yes, I've seen them both. I like the second one better. I have never seen a single plane movie in my life. And, and that's what con- Dane Cook. And that's what oh, confuses God. people on what's what because. Some people are like, well, isn't is Cars Disney? I go, well, well I mean, well, it's on. under the umbrella, but it's it's a Pixar movie. They go, well, so is Planes, right? I go, no, it's not. No. Wait, <laughs> what is Planes, Planes? under that? I think that's Disney too. And oh, okay, that makes interesting. sense. Interesting. It wasn't direct to video though, was it? No, I, no, I don't think so. Doesn't I don't, I don't know do my their... Planes lore. <laughs> Are, that's are, that's are, another are, good question, though. Are, why are the ships? Why do the ships have eyes? Why are the ships sentient? I thought it was just the cars. Jake, yeah. you're you're asking me like you expect me to know these things. I don't know. <laughs> None of this world makes sense. The entire first. Why the entire why don't the oil episode, why don't the oil rigs have eyes and are sentient? All other metal is apparently. Because only transportation. Yeah. No, Pla- planes is theatrical and was Disney tune. Really? I yeah. thought Disney Toon was specifically direct to video stuff. No, because they also did uh, Return to Neverland. That was theatrical. Really? Really? Yeah. Did oh. not know that. Yeah, that was theatrical. And then I don't was know about Tim the Was Tim Owen and, uh, or sorry, Lion King one and a half? No, that's direct to video. Okay. That was okay. I wonder if Planes, Fire, and Rescue, though, was, was uh, yeah, that was theatrical as well. Really? So Planes is, Planes is a specific offshoot of this movie. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's in universe and it operates the same way, so befuddlingly. Um, oh, this hurts. Everything about this movie hurts. Yeah. Larry the Cable Guy should never voice another character another day in his life. Larry the Cable did. Guy should. The third movie. <laughs> that he's in a fraction of the amount of time. Yes, because like they, they I learned wonder if they years later lesson? they're like, yeah, let's not do that again. But before we get deeper into Cars 2. Uh, should I do my without further ado? Absolutely. Give, give okay. Your uh, I've not read the synopsis that I wrote months ago in, <laughs> in a while. so I'm very scared. Okay, so here's Cars 2. Because the first Cars just absolutely had to have a sequel, we return to Radiator Springs just before Lightning and the gang head off to Europe for a worldwide race. Uh, Mater is instead caught in the crosshairs of espionage and bumbles his way through many funny spy things. There's also a plot about alternative fuel and Mater farts out his exhaust pipe. That's about it. (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah, you nailed it. That's so, it. So I'm here to tell you, the addition of Michael Caine into this just... I know you've said... That's one of the only things I like, I and do. I don't I, even... I, don't. I, I, I love Michael Caine. I just can't handle it in this. I just can't. He's a little cheesy. He rolls. He, he, he leans no, in. No, I'm it. saying he's fine. It's just the addition of it does not add anything to the movie for me. Well, I mean, shall we just go all the way back to the beginning? Like, why even make a... Okay, okay. A sequel? Sure. A sequel I, about a I, race that has the same main character as the first... <gasps> There's an idea we should sell that. Disney, write this down. Sure, sure. You could, you could, you could, you could do a new race. You could do don't the, do the that because they will. They're listen, just gonna keep making these. Listen, the world, the Grand Prix, doing this at, at a world's thing. I can see their train of thought. Okay. They should I make can. a trains movie. However, <laughs> then they have trains, planes, and automobiles. Whoa! Crossover. I was just getting at. Where's your tire? Between two. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, okay, really quick. I was just trying to get out. The sequel, as hard as it is to pull it off, I can see. But why make it a spy movie? Exactly. Why? And why have, like, 30 cars just get murked? Right? <laughs> cars are dying in this. Right? How, wh- when, when do, what when, do, when, when do they, when what? do they start living and, and then you just kill them? <laughs> like, literally, like the beginning scene is one thing where they're like blowing up or like flying off into the water. I'm like, okay, spy movie, so whatever. But then they Why like. Why can't they swim? Then, they can do everything else. The one car, uh, the Finn McMissile. Mc, McMissile, remember he's British. Oh, right, McMissile. Oh, he can. But, yeah. but my whole thought is then like the American car that they capture and then they, they put the fuel in him and then, you know, do the gun thing. And then mm-hmm. you see, like, the reflection of him, like, explode. It's like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's, it's actually kind of... I'm glad you brought that up. That's a good point. This oh, it was Bruce, actually... Cam- Bruce Campbell was the voice of that, that American car. Even he couldn't lift this. Wow. But, like, that's, it's dark. Like, they're blowing up cars. That's a good point. Like, what's going on? What are they doing? It's like, if you want to do it, can we please have the bomb at the end on Mater just just blow up, please? Please, just take them all out. Just do it. <laughs> I do love the whole thought of, like, like Mater, you are the bomb. It's like, yes, let's go Let's go get near the queen car. Because no one's going to, no one's going st- <laughs> to. I was just thinking, like, oh, my gosh, dude, this is quite a gamble. No, none, none of this movie makes any sense to me. Literally, the, the are plot. we are we getting into the, the whole art- alternative fuel thing now? Oh, let's do it. Because it's like not? okay, so the whole point is Axelrod finds all that that secret oil well, mm-hmm. so he's making all that money. So his big plan is he found this alternative fuel, which already will make you money. So his whole plan is let's put this on on a world stage. To make it yep. fail, so then everyone just buy more oil. Yep. I thought, like, wait, you have an alternative fuel that is very popular, and you have all this oil you just found. I think you can kind of have your cake and eat it, too. Who's making the gas? <laughs> the dinosaurs. Who's making the oil in the gas? They say it in the movie. How they did. did. They You're said right. dinosaurs. They you know, fossil fuels will run so out. So when they the say dinosaurs, dinosaurs, do they mean, like, the I, dinosaurs I at monster truck rallies that eat the tru- <laughs> eat the cars? I don't know. <laughs> That's why it's like, what, that's a dinosaur. Point. Or they're referring to the no good dinosaur. <laughs> it's oh, all, no, it's the good listen, dinosaur. It's cool. all connected. It's all I mean, with Pixar, it's supposed to be, isn't it? <laughs> what you say? With Pixar, it's supposed to be, isn't it? And know what all everybody claims? Yeah, the that's Pixar what theory. What it's, a, it's not just a theory. It's <laughs> yeah, it was all everyone, revealed yeah. in Cars 2. <laughs> just. There's so I just I just don't and then understand why is the Lady film? McQueen on the cover of the DVD? It's barely a part of the movie. Yes, at one point I had the Blu-ray of this. I why? Someone gave it to me. Oh, I don't own it. My family does. So that's how I. And then it. I and then but I promptly gave it away to someone else. Yeah, I just watched this on Disney Plus because I don't want to ever physically. T- I, I think if I physically touched this DVD, I would start to I would catch on fire. I think it's just that. It's just like... You are the bomb. I, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. See if he catches on fire when he touches this. <laughs> okay, here you go. See, that's actually a good movie, though. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm fine. No, it's fine. Okay, good. I think you're good with cars too. That was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, by the way. But <laughs> I, I, yes. I was just gonna say, just all this, this movie. If it was just again about the Grand Prix and lightning and like Mater costing him a race and like a friendship, I don't want this to exist. But if it has to. What's wrong with just that simple story? The first right. one is very simple. Right. What's wrong with that? Why do? Why is this a spy movie? And why is Mater the? I know why he is, but like, why is he the main? No, character? who built? The, I, I, who I built Big I Ben? Who what? Why does it exist? It's what? Built. Spell time. But they all have clocks inside themselves, right? Not all of them. The old ones don't. Are you sure? That's the other thing. <laughs> Cars have only been around for, what, like 150 years? Yeah. So they only exist as this, this existence for them only been like 150 years? Who was the first car? Big Ben's older than 150 Mr. years. Mr. T. That's it. Cars 4 is a prequel where Mr. T, as a Model T, no, 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 no. starts oh the Cars race. They just spawn out of his exhaust pipe. Jared, you don't know how bad it was. You just add water. You you no. said that, and I am so on board. I am more on board for this than I have seen any other movie ever, ever. I don't know. I, wanna, I don't know. I want to see Cars 4 with Mr. T as a model. See, I think that the is... the lube or something like that. <laughs> yeah. can, can we see a Cars 4 where Jim Carrey's Grinch like pulls them out of his Santa sack or something? <laughs> I am yes. the Grinch who stole Christmas. <laughs> and I'm sorry. <laughs> he just does that. There's all the Cars. <laughs> I, it, 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 it. You know, this yeah, would hey, be... Hey, hey! That's what that's what Cars Four is gonna do. Cars Four at the end is gonna reveal that this is all just some kid playing with toys. No, wait. I know we're joking about Cars Four. This it's not actually happening, right? Like it's not. I'm gonna check it. right now. Keep talking. I'm, okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm scared because so, it's something okay. they so would here's actually the thing. do. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, not to beat a dead horse, but that's what we're doing by talking about this movie, right? Beat it. Just beat it as hard as you can. So. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Jared, I don't like that look you're giving us. Oh no! Um, I'm seeing an article from August of this year that there is a possible sequel for So Cars 4 and then a possible spin-off. What else are going to spin off? I don't know. I'm, I can't read the whole article in the moment, Boats. but I think... <laughs> <laughs> There's a series. Okay, a this series year. would be fine. Yeah, this yeah. Would be fine Cars on the Road is a series this coming out this year. Okay. Okay. I don't know about a fourth movie. Good. Okay, so it's not confirmed that there's a show. I'll take a show. You know why? Because then we don't have to watch it for this. It's short. It's also no, we don't have to watch it at all. <laughs> we don't I cover mean, that. A number of the Disney series that have been coming out based on Pixar movies have been really short episodes lately. Mm -hmm. Or like Monsters at Work. I don't know anything about it. Well, I, yeah, remember I, I brought it up. Only really you told me about right? that. Yeah. Which it is really short. But like even that, it's like... It's oh, fine. I mean, it's based off a movie that's much better than the Cars movies. <laughs> yeah, a oh. little bit. <laughs> oh, yes, and also, uh, I was reading the Letterbox <laughs> reviews, and one of them said, like, I was going to put Kachow, you know, like the Italian greeting, but that's already the uh, tagline of the movie. Literally, is Kachow, because I think that's in the movie, too. <sighs> that's his bumper sticker at the end. So, right? anyway, back to what I was saying. They establish in the first movie that they consume oil like it's like it's food. You kind of yeah, they yeah, drink right, it. right, yeah, right. Yes. But then yes, this is about gas, yeah, which gets put in their butt, <laughs> right? Or do they eat with their butt? Or would that be their hip? That's their hip. Let's just say their butt. Yeah, their butt. That's funny. The cars are on steroids. <sighs> do they eat with their butt then? They eat with their insides. They eat butt with their eat. What about cars with the engine in their butt? Yeah, because there's yeah. How's that work? Old, older cars are some, some What's the difference between what about Why do cars are, are have to have bathrooms? Are there Why do they look like oil change stations? Who put those in there? Who programmed them? Do all of them drive is it front wheel or back wheel or both? <laughs> or do we have four wheel drive? <laughs> oh, oh also 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 This established that cars have actual parents. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that means cars have to do a certain something. Yeah. How's that work? So, Jay. We talked well, about this last time. When a man and, and the tailpipe. <laughs> when when two was... people love each other. <laughs> when people, Mr. not cars. <laughs> when Mr. T first was invented by the dinosaurs as a Model T, 
they sprang out of his tailpipe, and then he just added water to them. <laughs> and then that whole it's wasabi thing, man. I just, They're I like just. Chia's. Isn't is a. Uh... Oh no! What's his name? Who? Who? Michael Keaton in this one too. Did he I show up anywhere so. in there? No, I think. I thought I could be wrong. I thought they showed Chick Hicks like commentating now, but I didn't see. I don't think it was Michael Keaton. I I, I feel like I would have seen him in this cast here. I will say I did, like John, I did like John Turturro in this. He's always good. Oh, yeah, I was chuckling a little bit. Yeah. Between the bouts of pain and uh-huh. misery, there was a kind of a... <laughs> so, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I watched this on my phone because that's the only screen it deserves. David Lynch would be proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, Nolan, like Nolan intended. But, like, as I fell asleep, too, so I kept falling asleep in chunks of it. And I'd wake up and I'd say, do I really want to rewind this? <laughs> no. No. No, you don't. So it's kind of like when we watched Home for DreamWorks. Yes. We had to keep backing up because we kept falling asleep. And it's like, we'd back up like, oh, okay, I only fell asleep for a minute. How, how much did I? Um, oh, my gosh, we're going to do that. No, no, no. It took me like four hours to watch that movie. It yeah, took it me t- three took me sittings like, to watch Turbo. It, it took me about like three or four sittings to watch this. And mind you, it is a hour and 46 minutes. And I probably could not watch That's more longer than... than Space Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. An hour and 46... Oh, yeah. Space Cowboys is like two... two it's ten. two hours. It's two, two hours and ten, ten minutes. Yeah. It felt way longer. That's true. This literally felt like it took... It's just so bad. It's just so bad. That's what the next... That's what the next spinoff is going to be. Space Farts. Space Farts. <laughs> I mean, at this car point... Farts. Car, car, car farts. Car farts. Car farts. Car farts. In Spain. <laughs> I mean, they can keep spinning it off. So they did planes. Let's do... Um, trains. Yeah, let's do trains. <laughs> let's do... Um, shit, we can do rocket ships. You could take those into space. Let's you do could... planets. Let's just make the planets. <laughs> let's make a little toot movie. Little toot. Little toot. Yeah. yeah that's that's a little tugboat. From one of those old Tug- that, that old know, Disney tugboat. Yeah. yeah, it's from the it's from the old uh, the one of the early yeah. Disney uh, segment movies. Yeah, yeah. little too. And every time they say his name, I laugh. Or or so a not terrifying this. Thomas the Train movie. That would even be better. Than, like, there's just. But you know what? You know Heck, what? I would watch a Paw Patrol movie again before watching this. <laughs> yes, but you know what? You know what really sells it for you? you know what it was the absolute like? I know we were there's so many bad like, like you could rip this movie into absolute shreds. We have been. The end movie, when Mater's like, am I really that annoying? And you get the fading of all of the Mater moments of the entire movie. And I think my, br- I think I just so that's spontaneously like- <laughs> combusted on that scene. It was just all Mater all at once. And I, it just so that's destroyed like, me. That's like watching the climax of, um... Old boy. Everything everywhere all at once. That's close. <laughs> Except it's from hell. <laughs> you you spit that pretty far. <laughs> At least you spit it the right direction. I was direction. not mentally prepared for. Th- out of all of the different for, for what I, for what I said or for what he said. Simula- out of all the movies you could have you could have re- related that what, to. You like you don't like old boy? No, I haven't seen old boy. <laughs> Though I just spit. The way he said everything everywhere. That's what made me laugh. <laughs> it's just, it's just everything all at once, and it's like, and it hurts. Oh, no, <laughs> literally, it's just Mater being Mater, 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 I, Mater, I, Mater, Mater. I, Mater. Ah! I felt the same way about this. That it. I, so in everything everywhere, when that happened, mm-hmm. I felt like if it went on for another five seconds, I would have gone into a seizure. <laughs> for this, I feel like if it would have gone on another point five a second, I wanted to go into a seizure. <laughs> I wanted to go into a coma and wake up when they decide to finally destroy these movies. It's How are the cars end? Is it going to end with an asteroid? Like, the, are they buried beneath the dinosaurs now? <laughs> oh, it all comes down that the movie was set to fail the second Mater was proclaimed the main character. Yes. <laughs> and it's one of those examples of you take a popular... Yes, Mater was popular the first movie, if you remember being a kid. Oh, I remember it. Oh, I liked him as a kid. Yeah. I get it. He's much I get more why. likable in the first movie. Yes. Because he's a supporting character and you get him in bits and pieces. He's not the main character where he's in 
most of the movie. And they also made him dumber in this. In the first one, he's not they didn't dumb. Make him dumber. Yeah, he's not dumb. This one, he's he's an idiot. <laughs> well, and I just like I don't he just goes like, out of his way to be stupid. Whereas yeah. in the first one, he's not. Well, and I'll just like the like the random like like falling into the whole spy plot. Like that's just it's just dumb. I'm sorry. Is there a way to do that that's actually enjoyable? To have like, yeah, a, we don't make it. <laughs> It's. I'm going to bring this up again. Go for it. It's just like the Wreck-It Ralph sequel, where they took a character and made him dumber. The, the difference is Ralph isn't super annoying in that second movie. He can be at parts, but it's not that bad. And he was already he's the main more character. He's insecure in that second yeah. movie. And he's the main character that we've established. This is, let's take a, a, a character the kids laughed at in the first movie and make him the main character. Oh, it's almost as and if then making for a the adults, character. we can put some old person in it. Oh, yeah, the, the adults love Michael Caine, so put him in. Hey, I mean, to quote Michael Caine, if they show up with a dumb truck of money at my house, what am I going to do, say no? I, I, Come on. I, I don't blame, listen, I don't blame um, Michael Caine. I don't blame John Turturro, um, Jeff Garland, John Ratzer. I don't know any of the other I guys. don't blame Larry the Cable Guy, honestly. Listen, I am sure he had an absolute hoot of a time. In the recording studio for this. I also don't blame Owen Wilson. No, and then I mean he was barely in it, but like it's just maybe that's why Mater was the main character is because of scheduling conflicts. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> this came out in 2011. What else would uh? I don't, Owen I don't know. Been? I can't think of anything. I don't know what Owen was in around that time, but it's. <laughs> Tom Hader is just the worst. He is one of the worst <laughs> characters ever created in the history. Is this the first? No, it's not the first. Okay. So I, I would like to dub that the, the Fonzie effect. Fonzie. Whereas in Happy Days, when Richie stops being the grounded voice of reason main character, and it becomes all about what's Fonzie doing this week, that that's that's what I that's what I, I like to co- but, someone probably coined it and I heard it I have no idea where I heard it but no it's it a, literally it's, is you take yeah. the popular but, supporting comic relief and you make them the main character and it doesn't work anymore but, minions <clears throat> Sorry, but Mater know. never water skied over a whirlpool of sharks <laughs> you know it kind of felt like it though <laughs> it's true kind of felt like it a couple times not gonna lie no, I was gonna say like, Happy Days already gave us that jumping the shark t- phrase but I just was like the. Fo- uh, the Fonzie effect or something. Is well. I've heard effect. it somewhere where it's, but it is. You take the popular supporting comic relief and you make them the main character because you don't have any other ideas. You just got to keep it going because of money. Money, yep. money, 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 money. That's the thing is they, I, another interesting thing that I was, when I was looking through your binder, I noticed they spent $80 million more million making this than the first one. Yeah. Where did that money yeah. go? I don't know because it's certainly not in like the textures or the animation or yeah. anything like it, that. Well, they do have... There are more cars in it, like more shots with more cars. There are more locations that they have to animate. Because the other one, it's basically Radiator Springs outside of the oh, beginning and yeah. end. This, they are jumping all over the place. Plus, five years later, inflation. Inflation, yeah. I guess I'll give you the So it's probably a combination of there's more to do. Because I was going to say, it didn't it's look a that bigger, much better. It's a bigger movie. That's yeah. why. Again, if, they were, if it was just a racing movie and we had a friendship rift and that's it, Probably would have been way better. Yeah. I don't know if it would have been good. It's a big what if. I don't even want it to exist, but that's... Pixar is better when they do simpler stuff like that. That's, I just... I, I, I truly, truly wonder... When was the wonder, last time they did something <gasps> simple like that? They hmm. were... Luca? Yeah, probably. It might have, yeah. Because, like, bef- before Cars 2, I still... Like, they, like, we were going through a list before. Like, they're knocking out of the park almost every time. What changed? I don't. I like literally. I what you, like they like in Grand. So I know what, on our Toy Story three um, discussion, we were talking about how it felt like it was a little too um, plot heavy, and it didn't focus on the characters quite as much sometimes. Yeah, I feel like it's the same a, thing. It's a similar thing. Like and they're, they're focusing yeah. on crazy plots and crazy spy drama stuff. And like why? Why when your because first they can't when your first nine or... movies work as well as this. Why change it up? Because they can't focus on Mater. If they focus on Mater, it's going become apparent that it sucks. Well, then just change this. Like, I just, I'm, I'm so confused as to how this happened. Because Pixar is... Merchandising, merchandising. Pixar is one of the, literally, when you look at how many movies they've made and how many of them are great, 
they're one of the best studios ever. Like, it's just, I, how? <laughs> and then how you have, can... for for how much they've bought into Mater's and Maker, then they have that part where Finn over the, the radio straight up says, yeah, just keep playing the bit of the idiot tow truck. I go, oh my gosh. They didn't sugarcoat that at all. They, they straight didn't. up call him a moron. They even, like, in their the own movie. Like, they're like, are they self-aware? Are they not self-aware? I don't know. I'm confused. Like, do they want us to think? Like, they want us to think he's an idiot, but he's not really an idiot. But he is an idiot, but he's not really. I don't. I don't know. What? Is, what do they want us to think? It, it makes no sense. It, it, it makes no sense. At least they gave the kids something they could enjoy while their parents rage slept in the seats right next to them in the theaters. <laughs> That's true. The kids probably ate this up realistically. I'm trying to think, like, there's a run of these that I saw in theaters. Mm -hmm. And I know I did not see this one in theaters, of course. I saw it a couple years oh, later. Yeah. yeah, that's weird. Like, I'm looking at this, and it's wedged right in the middle of, like, all ones that I saw in theaters. Like, the three before it and the three after it. So, I think this one, I was like, no, yes, I'm in high school. I was well, like, yeah, yeah no. Changes, no. <laughs> and then when Brave came out, I did go see it. And, of course, it the year good. Yeah, and then it... And anyway, uh, <laughs> spoilers, Jared. Spoilers. Yeah. Well, we, 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 this is the first. This will be the first rewatch for me of Brave since it came out ten years ago. We'll see what I think. Hopefully, it's not unbearable. I'm gonna keep using that. <laughs> this bearable, bearable. This movie is un. Boatable? No, no. Unstartable. Unstartable. This movie has no spark plugs. Uh, there you go. This did not get out of the first see, gear. See, <laughs> see, that's a car joke. Oh. See, Jared I, doesn't know anything about cars. I'm pretty proud of mine. I thought that was pretty fun. Yes, yours was pretty good, too. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Also a car joke. <laughs> oh! You see, the car you drive is an automatic. There are other cars. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it is a, I yeah, I understand their stick. Ah. Shtick. Hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a car guy. <laughs> this no, movie is you're a... just a car. <laughs> like in this movie. Vroom, vroom, baby. <laughs> no. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, okay, Mazda, calm down. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. What's the car company that Matthew McConaughey did all those ads for? Is that a Lincoln? Uh, yes, that was Lincoln. Or he's just like, it's not about hugging trays. It's not about being wasteful either. And I always about would say driving. either. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just funny. It's about driving cars. That going right. fast. Going fast. Right, did right, they hire right. him because he was in the Lincoln lawyer? <laughs> I My right. brain just put that together. <laughs> Oh, my God. Hey, wait a minute. Matt McConaughey, he was in The Lincoln Lawyer. What do you think? We put him in Lincoln ads? <laughs> you know that's that? a car, right? Yeah. Ah! I believe that was the car. You know, that's the same train of thought that I think of when I see Larry the Cable Guy. There's a cable in his name. Let's make him play a tow truck because there's a cable in a tow that's, truck. That's true. <laughs> I feel like that's the same, the same exact method of logic there. Like, I, I. And John Turturro. That sounds like a car sound. Turturro. Yeah, he should be. Turturro. Hey, your mama, I'm the racing. Turturro, 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 Turturro. So stupid. That's also a car joke. It's just I. Do we have anything else about cars too? The worst. Do we all I, agree this is probably going? Looking forward, I, there are some that I don't like, but I don't think anything gets even remotely as close to bad as. as, as having as, never as, seen Lightyear. Even then, Lightyear is not even like bad. Bad. It was just nothing. Disappointing. Yeah. This, this is definitely. Yeah. The, this is definitely, definitely, definitely the worst movie they've ever made. Maybe not ever made, but. I th the worst movie in their catalog, easily. What the movie would they have made that would not be in their catalog? What are you talking about? He said this is the worst movie ever made. No, no he said this they've. is the worst movie they oh, have ever they've made. Ever made. I heard this is the worst movie ever made. Oh, I mean, it's probably on the list somewhere of ever made, but no, okay, they said like the top are. 10? I would put a top 5, 10, 15. I feel like maybe. there's a lot of crap out there we haven't seen that's 
way worse that we'll never watch. That's the thing is, yeah, you'd have to. Like the no good dinosaur? <laughs> no, the good ah. dinosaur. But yeah, no, this is this is the worst Pixar movie. It, it, it is. There, there's no <sighs> question about that whatsoever. I don't know. There's also... Um, oh, there's Finding Dory. That could be close. You see, no, this is more offensive than Finding Dory. I don't even think it's that bad. Dory. I just there's think Turning it's, Red. Which isn't turning even red bad. Turning Red is great. It's okay. Yeah, I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy Turning Red. Like, I can't wait for it. Good part. And that's more than I could say about Cars 2. Yeah. I, hey, there's a... Never mind. Uh, honestly, think about it, though. Is there any anything redeeming about Cars 2 that you can think of? I like Michael Giacchino's music. It's not great or memorable. Okay. It's the one thing I was like, hey, that's not bad. He put more effort into that than he needed to. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go around the room and, get, and let's go around the room and tell Cars 2 one thing we like about okay, it. Okay, so that, that's you mine. That's Giacchino. mine. The music. I'll just go with. I'll just go with the music. I All thought right. it was. I thought it was funny when the reason Lightning McQueen didn't blow up was because the the high car had. Uh, <laughs> yeah. gas. No, no, it wasn't Fillmore. Was... Remember, they no, asked Fillmore. Fillmore. He's like, you you like to think the worst George Carlin impression, of course, because Carlin rest in peace had died, but. You'd think I would be the one, who, but it wasn't. And then Sarge is the one who did uh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, big oil, baby. And I go, that's the stupidest twist I've ever seen. Such a dumb that's so stupid. They made such a big was, deal out of that. I thought it was funny. I thought oh, it was funny, but yeah. it was like, what? I also, I, I really like the little, like, the little, like, tire raising car, or the car raising car, like the forklift dude. Mm, mm-hmm. I don't know his name. Guido? Guido? Guido, yeah. Guido and what's the other one? Francesco. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Francesco's a bad guy, isn't he? Yeah, Francesco's a bad guy. Oh. I don't know who the other one is. You're talking about the, the Tony Shalhoub character? I think it's... I think oh! It's, oh! Um, 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 um... Yeah, Tony Shalhoub is Luigi. Luigi? Yeah. Also, um... The green van makes a return. Yeah, it the does. The dude that voices him. Who's the dude that voices the green van? Are you talking about the two vans that went through town in the yeah, first yeah, yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, That was Richard Kind, I think. I love Richard. Richard Kind and Edie nice. McClurg. You know Edie McClurg. She's in planes, trains, and automobiles. She's yeah. the one that he dropped all the F-bombs to. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. She's also in Ferris Bueller's Day yeah, Off. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah. She's the, the secretary. She's great. She pops yeah. up in a lot of small things. But okay. So I will say the one thing I like, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, Michael Caine and John Turturro. I, I truly, truly... Turturro, 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 Turturro. That's such a bad joke. I'm really sorry. Turturro, 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 Turturro. It sounds like Turturro. Turturro, yeah. I know. But yeah, those two are those are my redeeming qualities. We should we should change the Totoro song to John Turturro. Turturro, 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 Turturro. Just splice in Cars two. He hasn't made any other movies. Cars two. And the Queen. Turturro, Turturro. All night long, I want you to know that now. <laughs> and we have anything else to say about Cars 2 before we move on? That's, I think we want to we want to peel out of this and leave it in the dust. Hey, hey, that's also a car joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so next we'll be discussing Brave. Woohoo! The only time I've seen it, it was very disappointing. I saw it a long time ago. Yep, I, I saw it in theaters. I, about it. I really but, don't remember. We'll get into that yeah. next time. Oh, yeah. So before we go, Dickie, where can they find us? You can follow us if you want to see up to date with all the things we got going on. We are on Twitter, if it still exists. And we are on Instagram. We are on TikTok. And we are on Facebook as well, if you use that. And you can always listen to us on Spotify, on Apple, on Stitcher, on Google, on iHeartRadio, on pretty much Spotify. Every- Spotify. I think I already said that. So if all your podcasting to, apps, yeah. make sure to rate us because it looks good. And always, you can see our beautiful, charming, great faces here on our YouTube channel. Once again, at <laughs> Offsite Media, as Jake covers this. And make sure to like us, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. We want to know what you guys think of us so we can make things always better. But Jake. Jake. I might say Jake. Jared. <laughs> and for that, for this episode of Dim Lits, we'll see you next time. Definitely brighter than Mater.
<laughs> Are you speeding? Yeah. Like, like a, a good bad neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> this, this movie sucks. <laughs> you got one word. <laughs> I said like a good neighbor. That's yeah, why that's I started laughing. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this movie sucks. <laughs> Tomato. I don't understand. Oh, no, I don't understand the world it, of cars. Jin, this brought Jin, up a nightmares Japan. for me. Because it's in Japan. But but dude. <laughs> that was <sighs> such a stupid line. He also farted in this. Why do cars have bathrooms? I don't know. How do they? the undercarriage. <laughs> it's no good dinosaur. <laughs> Wee. Why? What? I don't understand. Oh my gosh! Are you in good hands? They don't have hands! They don't have thumbs! They don't! This discussion has taken the energy out of me. <laughs> Ciao. Ka-chow. 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 Ka-chow.